another edition of the Red, Brown & Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. We've been doing this a while. We have. We're old pros now. We're getting to be old pros. <laughs> We've gone through the seasons, mm -hmm. actually, and now we're getting into, thank goodness, almost summertime. I know. I'm personally very excited about that. I'm ready for some warm weather. And that, that brings up a point I wanted to ask you is mm -hmm. everything looks different from the wintertime to the summertime. And is that the same thing that you're hearing with people? They'll, they'll look at a house in the wintertime, they're like, yeah. I don't like it that well, but then everything blooms and, and everything turns green, and then you get a call. Do you Absolutely. find that happens? You do have that happen sometimes, and a lot of times, a lot people will start looking in the winter, and the area itself just yeah. doesn't impress them. So this is actually a great time to do those drive-by looking mm -hmm. at areas and trying to figure out where you'd want to be because our area really changes in the spring and summer. It, it becomes colorful, the grass is green, the birds are chirping, and everything shows better and looks better in, during the spring and summer season here. So if you're in the market right now, it's the time to get out and drive by. And if you see that Red Brown and Williams sign in the yard, there's a phone number on it. Absolutely. Give you guys a call. Absolutely. And that goes for all four of our counties um, that we have offices. One of our four office phone numbers will be on that, if not all of them. So whichever office you're close to, give us a call. Okay. Let's start with the first listing today, okay. actually in Johnson County, in mm -hmm. Paintsville. This one is. This one is in Paintsville, and I included it because this listing was just reduced. Okay. They have actually taken it down to 279, and this is located on Richmond Street in Paintsville, which is on Route 40 on your way out towards the golf course from town. I know exactly where that is, so mm -hmm. if you come in on where the old speedway yep. used to be in Paintsville. If you turn right-handed or if you're headed that way anyway, just keep on going exactly. toward the golf course. Exactly. And Richmond Street will come up on your left. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great house. This house is uh, only about five or six years old. It's got 2,800 square feet. It's a three-bedroom, three-full bath, and it actually has a massive bonus room that could easily be used as a fourth bedroom if you wanted to. Or a home office. Or a home office, or a rec room, or... Or a home theater. There See, you my go. brain is going <laughs> to a home theater space. Lots of, lots of possibilities. And I like this one that it has the covered rear patio. Uh -huh. Especially, we just talked about the nice weather. Exactly. Sit outside on that rear patio. Exactly. And it kind of, it's not included in the square footage, obviously, but it definitely adds adds usability to the house when you have outdoor space that can be used and it's covered so you're protected from the rain so this has great space for that. And then it has a two-car attached garage. This mm -hmm. house has just about everything somebody could look for. It really does and then they've updated it. They've done granite in the kitchen and that kind of stuff so it's also one you wouldn't have to do a lot to. Well, and they have just done some work on as far mm -hmm. as shingling the roof. Absolutely, yeah. And you were saying you can get 20, 30 years out of a new roof. So Absolutely. that's mark that off your list of worries. Exactly, exactly. And house. of course, we always recommend a home inspection to make sure everything's good to go. But yeah, they've they've taken care of it. This is a home definitely worth looking at, Jennifer. Two seventy nine for mm -hmm. everything we just discussed. Exactly. So, give you a call. This is your listing? This is my listing. They can give me a call at 437-2333. Or if you're in the Paintsville area and that number's easier because this is a Paintsville listing, feel free to give our office in Paintsville a call. That number is 606-789-8119. All right. Definitely one worth looking at in Absolutely. Paintsville. Yes. Now, let's move back up into Pike County. Okay. Now, this one is on the left fork of Joe's Creek. Correct. But, wow, what a listing. Yes. This is... A beautiful home, and I'm sure everybody's looking at the pictures right now. The main picture for this house is absolutely stunning. You, you have can the see land. All yard. I know, I know. And then you can actually see the barn that comes with it sitting behind it. It's a very picturesque picture. <laughs> Seriously, but the one thing that stuck out on me on this one is the acreage. Yeah, you've got 88 acres. 88, not 8.8, mm -hmm. 88 acres. 88 acres, and you have a lot of usable acreage. I don't have an exact number of what's usable, mm -hmm. but you have a lot of flat land, you have some bottom land, and then there are quite a few flats on the wooded hillside that could easily be cleared and used if you wanted to. So you can garden, or not mm -hmm. even just a little garden, you could plant crops. Oh yeah, absolutely. To do a big gardening. Or like me, I like to hunt, so you're mm -hmm. thinking, oh, that'll be a perfect place to set up a tree stand or four-wheeler trails. 88 acres, you can get in there and make four-wheeler trails and have a ball. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is priced very well for the amount of acreage and then the house on top of that that you're getting. And then, well, you see the house, which mm -hmm. is awesome. I mean, it's four bedrooms. Mm -hmm. 
But then if you look on the picture, when it comes back up on the screen, you can mm -hmm. see a barn in the distance. Yeah. So, you know, you've got all that. You let your mind go and get creative with it. You've got an old barn on the property. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, the barn is there. And then behind the barn, you can't really tell from the picture because they haven't cleared back behind it. But you can actually walk back through there and you pretty much have the entire hollow and quite a bit of it is flat. So if you really want to get creative, you mm -hmm. could put a pond oh, yeah. back in there or anything. Yeah, and you could also build additional housing if you wanted to. That is great. And the cool thing about this is we're talking about all this acreage and this house and the barn. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the point to where you say it's only six miles off of US 23. Correct. Yeah. So you're getting the best of everything, literally, with this home. Exactly. And you're right off Joe's Creek with, for those who aren't familiar, uh, Stone Coal to Joe's Creek and then Left Fork of Joe's Creek. So it's a very easy commute from the city of Pikeville. Right. So definitely worth looking at. And then mm -hmm. when we tell you the price, you'll even want to look at it more. Exactly. All of what we just said for 259000 That's right. All right. When you give Jennifer a call on this one, and I'm sure you will, uh, 104360 is that MLS number. That'll let her know exactly which house you're listed, mm -hmm. you're interested in. That's correct. Okay. Now, let's stay in Pikeville and go okay. to Hughes Lane. Okay. I really like this listing. Well, it's a brick ranch, and mm -hmm. honestly, I wish we had more listings, one in the price range, but two that were this style, because this is a really popular style right now with, you know, starting out couples. Mm -hmm. or couples that have gotten a little bit older. You're taking the stairs out of the equation, which makes it a little bit easier. And, then, and I'm seeing you also have some unfinished basement space. You do. So you've got this blank space mm -hmm. that you can do whatever you want to with. Yeah, you've got about 850 square feet of unfinished basement. Um, and it actually is a walkout basement space that has a driveway up to it. So if you wanted to, it's not currently set up for garage space, but mm -hmm. you could easily change it over to garage space with additional basement storage. So yeah, let your mind go with this one because mm -hmm. you've got the house and, and everything with it, but then the blank space to do your own thing. Exactly, exactly. And uh, you know, one thing, you see a lot of kitchens that mm -hmm. are darker kitchens and you're like, how can they see when they're doing anything in there? This is one of the brightest kitchens I've seen on any listing we've talked about. Yes, it's a beautiful kitchen. They actually redid the house in 1995, and the kitchen was part of what they redid. Mm -hmm. So, and it's, you know, the white cabinets, and it's a very bright, airy kitchen space, which is, which is great. Um, and then the other things they did is they did new hardwood, they did a new bathroom, and then they also put new windows in the house. And all for under $140,000. That's great. So like you talked about, it could be a great first home for somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like we get a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger, and then we decide, no, we want smaller, smaller, smaller. Right. So if you're on the other end of that and you're starting to simplify everything, this mm -hmm. is a great home for that, too. Yeah, and even it's not a small house. You've got 1,800 square feet. So for anybody in the middle, it honestly is, is a good space depending on what your needs are. Well, you've got three bedrooms and mm -hmm. two full baths. That's great. So plenty of room even if you've got the family. Absolutely. And then this one has a little bit of a perk. The lot adjacent to it, they're also selling. So you've got an additional listing that we have mm -hmm. for sale for twenty nine nine. if they wanted an additional lot. If you wanted the garden space, if you wanted to... A pool. If you wanted to do that, you easily could have space to do something else. Or if you have family members that you want to live close, you use, easily have another building lot or a double wide or something like that could be put there. Well, perfect. If we've got your, your brain turning on this one, it's on Hughes Lane in Pikeville. 139.9 is the listing with the additional lot available. Mm -hmm. 104.543 is that number. Sounds good. Well, now let's stay in the Virgie area on okay. the south end of Pike County. Mm -hmm. And this one's on Kurt Tackett Road. That's correct. For those who aren't familiar with where that is, that's off the Indian Creek turn going up towards Abner Mountain. Okay. And you're going to take a right right there on, on Kurt Tackett Road. Now, this one is a double wide, mm -hmm. but it has got, it, they've redone it. They've done a lot of work to this double they wide. They have. It has hardwood pretty much throughout. It's got a stone fireplace in the family room, so you've got a formal living room plus a really nice size family room. Uh, to mm -hmm. kind of grow. And then you've, of course, got your master suite. You've got two guest bedrooms that are on the opposite side. So it's a really good layout for a double wide. You know, and I see that it's on nearly a half acre lot, too. Mm -hmm. So you've got some yard space. You do. You have some yard space. And he actually took a very good advantage of the back of the house. He's got about a 50 foot deck 
on the back of the house wow. that's covered. And then he also put a swing and that kind of stuff on the deck. So it is a great space, very private, to enjoy your evenings or anything like that. I think we actually have a picture of that. With the swing? Yes, with the swing scrolling through. Perfect for summer evenings, even mornings. A lot of people like to get out there, watch the world, wake up, and have their coffee. Absolutely. This would be the perfect space. Now, this one also, if you're the type that, that goes and travels a lot and you have mm -hmm. a camper, mm -hmm. this has a place to store your camper. It does. This has a huge metal garage on the property. Part of it was actually built to store a drive-in camper. It has a large door to allow access to it, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And then the other part is set up as... Uh, where you could work on a large work truck or something like that. It's oversized doors, plenty of space to do pretty much anything you could want to do in the garage. Or a workshop. You know, those Easily. who like to, to work and do projects or whatever mm -hmm. like that, you can customize that to, to do work projects. Absolutely. Okay, nice house. Kurt Tackett Road, like she said, just mm. off of Indian Creek. And the price on this one, Jennifer? The price on this one is $119.9. All right, so give Jennifer a call, and this is your listing. How, if somebody didn't mine. want to call you, they wanted an email address, mm -hmm. your email address, how do they do that? My email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, now, let's transition <laughs> a little bit. Okay. We've talked about houses a lot, but I know part of what Red, Bra Red Brown Williams does mm -hmm. is lots and land. Mm -hmm. You guys have some stuff to talk about. We do. We we wanted to take today and try to go through as much land as possible, so we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to hit quite a few and not okay. give as many details, but if they want more information, of course, they can always call one of our offices. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, let's start the land kind of like we did with the homes today. You've okay. got one in Johnson County. Uh -huh. The first couple we're going to do are all residential building lots. So the first one in Johnson County is uh, at Cross Creek. It's a one-acre lot listed for $95,000, and again, it's in Cross Creek Subdivision, which is in Staffordsville, right outside of Paintsville. And we've done a lot of homes in Cross Creek, Correct. so it's if you're going toward Paintsville Lake, you'll mm -hmm. just take a little bridge on the left. Big, nice sign that says Cross Creek. Yes, very easy to find, and this is a riverfront lot, great location, so if somebody's interested in building in that area, this would be a great option for them. Okay, now that's Johnson County. Mm -hmm. We've got some in the coal run if we're moving back toward Pike County. Moving back this way, we have some at Tolly Lane, which is in Coal Run. If you're traveling north on US 23, it's going to mm -hmm. be a right-hand turn right after you go under the railroad overpass right there. So um, at Tolly Lane, we've got two lots. They're both listed at 89.9, and they're both close to an acre. They vary just a little bit, but they're pretty close to an acre. I think I know what you're talking about on this one. Is it almost directly across from the Scott Edition? I think there's a law yep. office in the front. Yes. And if you look back through there, you can see where it levels out. Yes, absolutely. And these are beautiful lots. You really can't see them very well from the road, so if anybody's interested in that area, I highly recommend this being one that you do drive by. Most of the time, we highly recommend people doing that because pictures, not purposely, but they can be deceiving as to where they are, you know, in a location. So it's good to kind of get in your head where it is yourself. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the next one, and it's something I wasn't sure these existed anymore, <laughs> but it's a lot on Cedar Creek. Yeah, and we actually have quite a few of them. Yes. Uh, we have the listings for Cedar Creek Phase 7, which is on the hill up behind the Cedar Creek Assisted Living. There are okay. the lots that are left up there. We have quite a few left. I'm going to say we have about 8 or 10 of the lots left. They all range in size. They're about a half acre up to close to an acre. Um, and then they range in price from about 97.5 to 112.5. So if anybody has an interest in being in the Cedar Creek location, these are great options. Very easily accessible, and it's a great area if you want the Cedar Creek location but want a little bit of the privacy. This is a great great option. Now you've also got one on Spruce Lane uh -huh. and, and that is on, that's flat. This is a flat lot and this is actually off Main Cedar Creek Road. If you keep going up like you're almost a hurricane, you're going to mm -hmm. take a left on Spruce Lane and we've got a .45 acre lot listed up there for 107.5. Now these are house lots. Uh -huh. Do you have anything, and I'm just going to go ahead and put you on the spot and ask you, <laughs> that's more acreage? Oh, absolutely. We have one that is actually at the intersection of Stone Coal and US 23. Okay. The address is actually a Stone Coal address and the access is off Stone Coal. But when you turn up Stone Coal from 23, you're going to see one of our signs come up on the right and you've got about 99 acres wow. of property up there. And yes, you have to travel up the hill to get to it. There is a driveway access up there, but when you get up there, 
you have tons of flats, very usable property, and really have a lot of options for something that, you know, whatever you wanted to come up with, I think you could make this property work. Well, that's 99 acres just outside the city limits. Exactly, exactly. You don't have utilities up there yet, but of course... Well, but you, you with can, something like that, you wouldn't want it. You want to be able to say, I don't want them there. I want it over here. I want to build here. Exactly. And you can do this exactly how you would want to do it. All right. Well, thank you. We have covered everything today mm -hmm. from acreage to lots of acreage to house seats to homes. Absolutely. And that's part of what Red Brenner Williams does. Yes. We really try to be a full service real estate agency. And like we've talked before, real estate appraisals, auction, mm -hmm. but we also do all parts of real estate, commercial, residential, land. All right. Well, check them out. rbandw.com is their website. Now, Jennifer, mm -hmm. we're going to pause for just a minute and get transitioned here and let you come back into your real estate minute. Are you ready to buy a home? Now is the perfect time to look. Listings are being added to the inventory daily throughout Eastern Kentucky. To begin the home buying process, our agents recommend buyers get pre-approved by a lender. This process will assist in knowing a price range and type of loan available. Next, speak to your realtor about your home needs and wants. The home buying process can be time consuming, but be patient and consider all possibilities. A new home is a long-term, serious investment, so find a realtor you trust to assist you throughout the process. Red Brown and Williams agents will be honored to assist you with the home buying process. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red Brown and Williams Show. See you again soon.